All right, I'm gonna make a small video about programming the ASCs with your CX20 remote in case you're running into issues getting into programming mode. If you're still using the original APM off your CX20 with a Hobby King Hobby Power or a Hobby Sky ESC, like this one, this is a Hobby Sky, the same one that's on all these. It's a clone of a clone of a clone, I'm sure. What you wanna do is, um, if you're getting power, if you're powering this through, your ESC, you're going to want to remove the power wire. If you're powering it by a power module, you want to remove the uh, wires for that. Some people say you might not have to, but I'm doing it the safest way possible here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to program your, uh, or how to calibrate the motors with a CX-20 remote. So on this one, if you're using a power module and you're not powering it through the ESC, remove the power module. I'm currently powering it through, I believe, motor one. So what I'm gonna wanna do is pull this out and remove just the red wire. I have safely done this by leaving the red wire in there is a diode in it that protects the unit. So remove the power wire. Make sure it doesn't short out on anything. Then plug it back into motor port one or output one. All right, once that's plugged back in, you want to get a long enough uh, USB cable to reach your computer or get a power brick or a power adapter. It doesn't matter how you power your APM. I'm gonna use a brick with a USB cable. So now you'll wanna plug in the APM. Turn on your CX20 remote. arm it. You'll see the red light on the APM go solid. Go to full throttle and plug in the battery. After those two beeps, push it down. And that's it. You've now calibrated. All right. In this step, we're going to get to programming the ESCs for different modes for break on, break off, for start mode, your cutoff threshold, the battery type, stuff like that. Basically, I just want to show you guys the beeps and uh, how to get into the menu. All right, I'm going to add a piece of tape to the motor because one of the things I'm going to do is change the brake from off to on. This is one of the most obvious uh, steps. And you can see your progress. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is continue leaving the power wire off and unplug all the wires, all the outputs for the motors. Don't try doing an all at once because what will end up happening is when it, once it goes through the menu, this motor might actually be on or this ESC might be on three beeps and this one might be on two beeps. And when you try to do a setting with this one, or with all of them at once, they'll be all out of sync and you'll really screw up all the ESCs. It's a process, but you'll have to work with one at a time. All right, here it doesn't matter which output you put it in. It can be one, two, three, four. All we're after it now is programming the ESC. All right, the first time I'm going to go through the menu with you. All right, now you'll want to plug in the USB power. Turn on your CX20 remote. 
arm it and go to full throttle. I'm pushing the power for the battery. After those beeps, you should now get a musical tone. Now you've entered programming mode. So one beep is for brake, two beeps is for battery type, three beeps is for cutoff mode, four beeps is for cutoff threshold, long beep is startup mode, long beep, little beep is timing, long beep and two beeps is set all defaults, and two long beeps is exit, and now it's going to start all over again. Right, now it's cycled through all of them. Now we're on brake, so we'll move it down. So one is for off, and two is for on. And one is for off, we'll put it off, and now we've set it. And now it's going to continue through the uh, menu. This time what I'm going to do is set the brake to on. Right, so the one beep is for brake. So I'm going to push it down. That selects it. That's one for off and two for on. I'm going to put up and that selects it. Now if I want to exit the menu, I'm going to push down. Now, now I can test the motor. Now watch the motor and see how it comes to a dead stop. Now I'm going to go back into the menu again by following all the steps again. I have to unplug everything now. Turn on the remote. Arm it. Move it to full throttle. Plug in the battery. Now it should play a musical tone. Now the first beep is for motor or for brake. So I'm going to select it and now I'm going to push up again. And I picked it. Now I got two seconds and I'll push it back down again. And now I'm out of programming mode and now I can test the motor. Now it comes to a nice stop. The biggest thing people do is they spend too much time with the uh, the button with the throttle down. If the throttle is down longer than 15 seconds because you're going through the um, the second menu. You're going to disarm from the APM and you're going to have to start everything all over again. So once you're disarmed, you can't do anything more in the menu. I'll show you set all defaults as well. When I got my ESCs, they were actually programmed differently, so I had no idea what was on them. So I ended up just setting all defaults to all of them. So again, plug in USB. Turn on the remote. Arm it. Go full throttle. Plug in the battery. Wait for the musical tone. Okay, now we're in programming mode. That's brake. Battery type. Cutoff mode. Cutoff threshold. Startup mode. Timing. And this is set all defaults. So push down to select it. And that's it. It's already actually selected. So now it's set on normal. And it's very touchy. Once you set it to default, it actually exits out of programming mode. So you're now you're going to have to do everything again. All right, I'm going to do one last video of this. And that's setting it back to super soft. 
I have to anyways. Most likely you guys could have stopped watching a while ago. It was more to put a visual to the beeps, to a menu. Break. Battery type. Cutoff mode. Cutoff threshold. That's when I want startup mode. Normal. Soft. Super soft. And I'm going to exit the menu. Alright guys, thanks for watching.